a long time ago, um, I had made a video. Well, not so long ago, but I think it was back in 311, right towards the end of 311, where I was talking about running up Crimestat and uh, living with Crimestat. Now, of course, that ended up all getting reset by CIG. And I wasn't really in a rush to get that Crimestat back because I knew what life is like once you have Crimestat and Star Citizen. But then I made a couple of videos recently where I was kind of talking about this and I was talking about the need for other ways to... Um, to basically run down your crime stat or what CIG had mentioned previously, which is the ability for other people to run your crime stat down for you. Now, I kind of explained the mechanics of how I would like to see that system work, but with this footage here, um, I think you're gonna get a much better idea of just how bad things are right now. So I think that we've, you know, we've kind of discussed to death the idea of how unrealistic it is that there basically is a marker that shows where you are in the solar system at any given time if you have crime stats. So anybody out there with bounty hunting can basically find you and track you down anywhere you go. And this footage here is kind of, you know, like a consolidation of just one day's gameplay. This was actually filmed earlier today. It represents less than half an hour of gameplay. And for the greater part of that half an hour, I am going to be hunted. Now, I am still playing on my main account. Obviously, you just saw the screen there. And I still have just three crime stat on this character. I have not killed any other players. I have only been going around and shutting down satellites and, you know, getting the 25,000 credits per. That is the only criminal acts that I've been committing. <laughs> and... Right now, I'm taking one of the cheap and easy missions. So this is like your 9,000 credit. You know, go get the black box. Go deliver the crate. Go confirm this guy is dead mission. Very quick missions to do. But because of crime stat and because of the system, this is really, once you have crime stat, this is pretty much the only mission that you can do as a pirate in the game. Now, you might be saying that that's not true. I, you know, I've had three crime stat. I open up my Moby Glass and boom, I've got all kinds of missions available to me. You might have all kinds of missions available to you, but you don't have the time to do most of those missions. Remember, shutting down a satellite, hunting down somebody inside of SPK, you know, for a bounty, things like that aren't realistic uh, to complete anymore because the amount of time that it has, you know, that you have to take. I mean, just something as simple as shutting down a satellite. You, you have to get out of your ship, get into the satellite, hack the satellite. Then once you hack it, shut the satellite down. Then you can run back out to your ship and you have to wait on site for five minutes and try to interfere or otherwise prevent another player from coming in and turning that satellite back on in order to get your reward. And the whole time, at like the longer and longer that you're on the server, the more and more that you're getting swarmed. And it's, it's pretty brutal. So here you are, or here I am rather, not you, this is me. Um, and I am just running into the ship just, just to pick up the black box and get it back to Grimhex. That's all this mission is. And, you know, we've got a marker. It's very easy. We can run right in, bang, grab the, you know, grab the black box, run it back to our ship. There we go. Total time elapsed on this server at this point is roughly about nine or ten minutes. That's about it. And you're going to see that as I turn up at Grim Hex, things start getting a little suspicious. Now, the player who may or may not be hunting me you know, they have an alert, they know exactly where I am, but all the players who are hunting me, I don't know where any of them are, nor do I know if anyone's even accepted the mission. So I have no kind of counter information to let me know when things are becoming a little too dangerous. That is kind of, you know, that is kind of a minor side of this problem. Now, I would be totally okay with this if this had moved on to the, like the hacking mechanic that I had discussed where you know, places like SPK or Lyria, you know, the security depot on Lyria and the one on um, Microtech. Uh, I, geez, I can never remember the name of that one because I go out to Microtech so rarely. But, 
you know, if those, if the hacking those sites was, you know, a transmitter outside of that base that you had to hack into or something like that, some place where you could stealth up to and then you could run that hack. You know, I went into a lot more detail about that in a previous video, but, you know, in general, just getting rid of this marker and instead saying, you know, hey, you know, something's going on with this transmitter. If there are any players in the area, maybe you should check this out and where, you know, we would have to kind of go in physically and kind of either use that chip that we get to provide us remote access, you know, break in, use our cutting tool, open it up, put the chip in, and then some player could come down and interfere with that. And it would kind of create some kind of, you know, counterplay. Either that or giving, once we have that chip in there, giving us remote access through our ship to remotely go in and start hacking while we kind of run our ship in some kind of a stealth mode. That would be a lot better. But things be being the way that they are currently, if you want to pursue piracy in Star Citizen, and I'm not talking about just going out and blowing up random players, but you want to go and you want to steal things or you want to smuggle drugs or you want to shut down satellites or anything like that. Anytime that you get caught doing any of this stuff, some of it you don't really get caught anymore because they've removed police interdictions from the game because they were breaking the servers. But for the ones that that actually reward any decent amount of money, you're going to get crime stat. And the second you get crime stat, this becomes like the reality of your gameplay life. Now, of course, I have an alt account that doesn't have crime stat, so I'm still able to kind of go out and get footage freely. And that's not, it doesn't really impact me all that much as a player. And that account kind of holds the lion's share of my in-game money. So it's not really that big of a deal for me, but for anyone who just has one account and they want to play as a pirate, this is kind of the reality that you're facing with the way that the game is set up right now. Now, there has been some emerging gameplay from, you know, the crime stat marker and that has you know, kind of gone to the point. It has kind of become a thing where, you know, players who want to go out and want to, you know, basically farm combat with other players who want to go and actually, you know, get into these dogfights with other players, they will go out and get crime stat because it's the surest way of bringing people who want to fight other players to you. And that's been like an interesting piece of emerging gameplay, but I would actually argue that a large, you know, proportion of this kind of, you know, what people would call griefing or negative gameplay largely arises out of the fact that for a criminal player in Star Citizen, um, you really have nothing to do in the game. Now, you might say, oh, well, you've got missions, you know, you've got these missions and you know, some of them really aren't earning you crime stat, you know, like smuggling right now because we know that police interdictions aren't a thing anymore, but that is something that is going to come back once they kind of figure that out and get the servers able to run that mechanic again. But any crime or any criminal uh, activity in Star Citizen that rewards any decent amount of money is going to award crime stat. And the problem is, is once you start getting marked up with crime stat, and as I'm showing you in this video, I only have three crime stat. And already things are getting insane. Uh, like, I'm about to leave the station knowing or suspecting at this point that I am being hunted by other players. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll take one of these satellite missions and just see. And you know, just test the waters. Dip my toe in the bathtub, so to speak, to see how hot the water is. And it turns out it's rather boiling. And... There is at least one, possibly two individuals out there currently hunting me. And, you know, I've been in game at this point, maybe about 15 minutes. And it's already like I'm already getting swarmed. In a, in a place where this kind of exists, you have to understand that there is no way that I can run down my crime stat at this point. Because remember... Nowhere, no matter where I go, whether it's SPK or whether it's, you know, the security depot on um, Lyria, I'm going to be there having to hack that computer. I'm going to have to fight my way in there, hack that computer, and then I'm going to have to sit there and run down each one of my crimes individually. So think about hacking and then hacking again. And I've shown this off in sep separate videos where I've gotten into serious shootouts at SPK. And I've sat there at Lyria for the longest time sweating, just trying to remove one crime stat. It's, it, it's pretty ridiculous. 
So no matter where you go in terms of criminal behavior, like things just kind of spin out of control very, very quickly. If you remember back to, I believe it was 3.2 or 3.3, you know, low those many years ago, um, we had NPC haulers. Uh, specifically, we were getting interdicted by, you know, pirates and they had a pirate caterpillar that would, uh, you know, be in the group that was attacking us. And if you blew it up, it would spill a whole bunch of cargo out into space. You know, I personally, I got very excited by this. It was like, oh my God, you know, it's possible. You know, we can actually pirate now. And I did a whole bunch of videos where I was, you know, shooting these ships down and then trying to scoop up as much of the cargo as I could into my cutlass. But back then we could only do it by hand, you know, one box at a time and, you know, kind of flying out into zero G and then back into the gravity environment of your ship could sometimes result in your death. Because as you know, when you fall from zero G into like a one G environment and you drop one whole foot, you can easily just fall over and just break your neck. Um, apparently quite a lot. <laughs> But now we have the, you know, the handheld tractor beam. And so if we could bring that mechanic back, if it wouldn't crash the servers like it did back then, and, and let's be honest, you know, I'm not calling for that to return immediately because it was killing the servers flat out. But when that, if we could bring that back and we have the hand tractor beam, all of a sudden players can go out and they can make money being a pirate, you know? And I think that that would be a lot more interesting. There does have to be a mechanic in the game that allows bounty hunters to narrow down and eventually find a you know a criminal player in the star citizen universe in the same way that a miner needs to be able to find minerals in order to mine you know all of these careers have to be kind of you know you have to create an environment where it's all possible now here you're seeing me fly out of the station real quick and there was a you know there is this guy in the constellation and he is definitely after me you can see him shooting you can just see by the uh, the energy readout of a ship he is firing his weapons at me but he's in the connie i'm in a herald he's not going to be able to catch me and this is kind of like i'm going to kind of punch right up out of the belt i'm going to get as far far enough away that i know that he isn't going to catch up to me anytime soon i'm going to realign for that jump to yella and what i'm going to hopefully do now now that i've confirmed that i am being hunted is I'm going to jump out to Yella, bounce around to a couple of the orbiting satellites, and then I'm going to bounce or jump out to sorry Daymar, you know, get to a couple of the orb, you know, move around a couple of the orbiting satellites, basically drag this player out there, and then I'm going to punch it right back to Yella and get back into Grim Hex because now I know that there's nothing else I can do in this gameplay session, because if I wanted to shut down this satellite, and you know, basically there he is. Or it could be someone else. I'm not locking onto this person to, you know, basically wait and see who they are. It's just like, eh, okay, I know. Now it's time to get out of here. And this is where I'm kind of like, this person got back to yellow pretty damn quick because this person was almost waiting for me at Grim Hex. So it could be that this is two separate people or maybe, maybe even as many as three hunting me down. I really don't know. I wasn't stopping to, you know, kind of check. But by the time I got back to Yellow, there was already a ship waiting for me and it got pretty nutty. It's, you know, it's one thing to dock a ship, especially, you know, I've been spending uh, a little more time in Elite Dangerous, you know, prepping something special for Odyssey. And, um, TBD. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of used to the Odyssey docking mechanic. So this was a little bit of an adjustment <laughs> after like three days of playing Elite to kind of come back and try to do this. So I'm gonna say it gets it gets it gets uh, a little scary. <laughs> so we know this guy's definitely shooting at us. But once again, we are in the Herald and we are fast. And sometimes speed is really all you need. So, oh, oh, no, no, too high, too high. That's all right. That'll buff out. We've got insurance. It's okay. We can cover it. No deductible. We're good. 
And we're safe. <laughs> but th this is it, man. This is in under half an hour. I have potential. I have at least one confirmed, and potentially three people out hunting me. Like, <laughs> like that. That's just a little bit too ridiculous. Um, now I'm all for you know bounty hunters being able to find pirates. I you know it's a necessary gameplay mechanic, but the system that we have in game right now is just a little bit over the top. Perhaps a delay, even like with the current system that we have now, without making broad changes to the game. If you keep your crime stat below a certain level, there should be a delay in revealing where, where your position is so that the lower your crime stat is the easier it is to get away the higher your crime stat is the easier it is to track you down that sort of a thing as kind of like an interim measure until we can bring in a much more sophisticated and satisfactory system but i definitely you know definitely we have to make some adjustments here because this is just a little bit insane and yeah, that is the gun that actually fell off my Vanguard when I landed it back at the station uh, halfway through this video. Just popped off the end of my Vanguard, and I've shown that to you before, so yeah. Another little fun bug in Star Citizen. But yeah, so this is what it's like to be hunted. This is what it's like to have three crime stat in Star Citizen right now. for watching so, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in star citizen and squadron 42's development please follow please follow please follow us on our social media channels see you soon